So I don't know what I had said for episodes previously. Uh, today is now the 30th of November at the time of recording, and I realized that I messed up with the numbering of the videos. I uh, On the 8th video, I had put a 9 instead, so I, I don't know if I would put something different for those, but uh, in terms of what I said in the videos. But anyway, we are going to continue on now. We just beat the 5th temple. We are going on to the sixth. Uh, before I do that, let's go to memories. Luther sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. We play the oh, that's not no. All right, that's that's not what I needed to know. So I do need to go. You know what? I I know what I need to do. I need to go and basically. Hop on the raft and go down right up here. I have enough money. I need a hundred coins, I think, to get on that raft. With 177, okay, that's that's plenty, and I'll certainly earn back any money that I lose while I'm on it. So I wanted to talk too because I realized I had s mentioned this story, but I never actually brought it up, which is I talked about a personal fam family story about knowing that the Queen of England during the Second World War was a mechanic. So on top of my wife's family telling me this, um, mm. there is a story that I have about when my grandfather served in World War II. <clears throat> We're just doing the Rapids Raid, and I want to use the Hookshot and the Feather. Um, so, my grandfather served in the Army during World War II, and, you know, a lot of people probably have stories about their family, about their grandfathers serving and being these amazing military heroes. My grandfather, not so much. Uh, basically... Um, what happened is what he he got into a lot of trouble is is what happened. Um, and ah, sorry, I gotta focus on this. There we go. Okay, so, um, grandfather served in World War II. He was not the most fabulous uh, of individuals who served. Uh, he uh, liked liked the sauce, and uh, my understanding is he got into quite a bit of trouble because of it. Ah, oh, shoot! I gotta get the hook shot. Um, there was an incident where. He, um, there was an incident where he had, um, it, like, wasn't getting enough sleep, basically, and, uh, because there were fighter enemy jets, um, d d that continued to fly overhead as he tried to sleep, and so he came out one night and decided that he was just gonna... He was going to start shooting at the planes that were flying overhead, so he got demoted. Um, and so, anyway, at one point during World War II, he was stationed in the UK, and... No! Okay, quick. Um... And he uh, was uh, he was under the influence. Ah, nuts. And so he ended up crashing his vehicle, uh, as one does when they are under the influence and driving. And I do not condone that. Please do not do that. 
I don't know how my grandfather didn't get seriously hurt. Anyway, so he drunkenly is trying to fix his, uh, his car. And who pulls up but the Queen of England? And the Queen of England helped him repair his car and get back on the road. So it's just absolutely wild that, you know, the Queen of England helped my grandfather when he was a, was a hot mess. Now, the postscript to that story is my mother insists that um, my grandfather and and the queen fell in love and they were going to get married. But we... I, I, I've already determined that that's hogwash. You know, there's, there's no way that that was going to happen. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, if you saw my grandfather in his uniform, he was a very handsome guy. He was pretty suave. More than anything else, he knew how to take care of the people he cared about and loved. Um... So I'll follow that up with the story about when he married my grandmother, because uh, he, um, my, my grandfather had kind of an, a rough upbringing. I know his father, my great-grandfather, abused him, and, uh, nuts, I gotta use the arrow. So he ran away from home, and, um... And had to deal with that nonsense. Uh, but so he, you know, he, he ended up doing pretty well for himself. He only got an eighth grade education because high school, for those who don't know, wasn't included at the time. Anyway, he eventually meets the woman who becomes my grandmother. Um, and I am very grateful that they found each other. Um, but so... On my grandparents' wedding day, my grandfather pulled up, and he had just bought a brand new car. My grandfather, even though he only had an eighth grade education and didn't go to college or anything like that, um, he did very well for himself working for IBM. And I, I had come to understand that he actually had a couple of patents, but so... Pulls up on his wedding day to my grandmother in this really nice new car. And it was apparently a big scandal because, you know, like, this was right after the Great Depression. And, and who, uh, it wasn't right after the Great Depression, but, you know, he, he was a child during that. But still, shows up for his wedding day in, um... In a nice new car, it was scandalous. My grandmother's father walked her down the aisle, pleading with her not to marry my grandfather. Uh, but she did, obviously. And all the stories I know about my grandfather, like you know, different time and the way that they disciplined the kids was not great. But my grandmother was a working woman; she was a nurse, um, and they both contributed to the house and all that. Like, there's different stories about the things that they could have done better as human beings, but, uh, yeah. But my, my grandfather loved his family, and he took care of his kids. He took care of me on days when I was sick in, in school, and my mom didn't believe me and forced me to go to school. He would come and pick me up, and we'd hang out. And he always kept sugar-free treats for me. Oh, dang. So anyway, my grandfather was a great guy. to do. Oh, okay. See, I thought I shot an arrow at him and it didn't work, but there we go. 
Eh, grab it. Got the face key. Yeah, my grandfather was a good guy, though. Like, he really... He took care of me in a lot of situations where I felt like I wasn't taken care of, and he always considered me, always had types of foods that I could eat, and beverages that I could drink, always had sugar-free ice cream. He was, he was the best. It was a really hard day when I lost him. I was 14 years old when he passed away. What? Illusion? But, you know, because of the way that he treated me, I try to treat my kids the way that I felt like he treated me and was considerate of me and my needs, so. Especially in such a large family. Ah, the stupid owl! Hoot, I see you have read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the wind fish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the wind fish. Trust your feelings, someday you will discover the answer. I gotta get another fairy since I had to use that last one to save myself. There's where the face key goes in the face hole. There we go. Caught a fairy. There we go. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. I need an adult! Well, there we go. Fantastic. Bye, fairy lady. There's a bunch of seashells that I need to go pick up that I'm remembering. about approaching the 15 minute mark so we'll start wrapping up here but I want to say thank you as always for tuning in for hanging out for paying attention hearing my stories I appreciate anyone who's listening and cares enough to check this stuff out and support me so thank you oh what after this I'm going to call it for this episode Ooh, there are two shrines one to the north the other to the south First hit. To, uh, yeah, I just did. I just did. Get out of here, you stupid owl. Am I in the right spot? I, I guess I am. I don't need to do that. I can. Wait. Yeah, do it. 
God. All right. Well, there's a 15 minute mark. So thank you all for hanging out. We'll check in next time when we actually enter into the face cavern or whatever it is. So stay tuned for episode 14.